Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's nine o'clock, which means it's time for another video. And today I am back with the map test, which is proving to be one of the most popular videos on the channel. Now, if you don't know what the map test is, the idea is simple. I run a couple of different companies and one of the guys that works in the office is a guy called Matt. Now he works in my sales department. He absolutely loves magic. And he's one of those people that if he sees something he really likes, he reacts to it really well, like he goes completely over the top. Uh, but he's also a really intelligent guy. He's been working with me long enough to kind of have a rough idea of some of the basic principles when it comes to uh, magic. So uh, he's not a complete, well, he is he's a layman, really, but he's, he's, got, he's got an understanding of magic uh, and magical techniques. And he's also very clever at working things out and he has a burning desire to work things out. So you can tell when he's completely fooled, but it's kind of very interesting to hear what his thoughts are on a particular trick. Um, so the whole idea of the map test is I'm going to take a new trick or a newish trick and I'm going to basically perform it to Matt and then get his opinion on what he thinks of the trick. So this week we are going to be looking at a new routine that has recently come out from Christopher Rawlins. Now if you don't know who Christopher Rawlins is, he is a mentalist based in the UK. He has worked with uh, Penguin, Vanishing Ink, Murphy's Magic and you know a whole bunch of different companies. Very clever guy, very creative guy. And, um, you know, one of the most knowledgeable people when it comes to magic and mentalism that I know. And he has just released a new book test called Definitive, which is all based around a Collins Dictionary. So, with that in mind, uh, we have, myself and Ryan have filmed a review for this. I'm not too sure what the timeline is in terms of this stuff being released. The review might have gone up. If not, it will be next week. Uh, but either way, it is getting reviewed soon. Both myself and Ryland really liked it as a product. We gave it a really good review. But now we're going to do the map test on it. So without further ado, let's get into this week's map test. So like I said, uh, the definitive uh, project by Christopher Rawlins is like super in-depth. Uh, one thing that you get with Chris is you get you get a tutorial where no stone has been left unturned. And uh, in this project, I mean, I think it's about two and a half hours long. And what you get is you get a dictionary that looks just like a normal dictionary, but it is completely and totally gaffed to the hilt. And it allows you to do a whole bunch of different stuff. Now, the routine that I'm going to perform to Matt is kind of like the main routine with it, but there's a lot of other routines and ideas and bonuses that you can actually do with this uh, this. Uh, this book as well. Uh, one of the nice things about it is it looks just like a dictionary, um, which which is really strong, really, to be honest. Like, it really... I, I've always thought that a dictionary is the best book to do a book test with because it's got the most words in it, right? By its very nature, it's got every word. Now, one thing that's been discussed on the various different threads on the Magic Cafe and Facebook groups when it t um, with relation to this project is the fact that at one point uh, you tear the page out of the book. Now, you don't have to tear the page out of the book, but um, it's quite strong if you do. So in one of the phases, you tear the page out of the book and you rip it up and you have them think of a word and you can still tell them what the word is. Um, now, I have heard people saying, oh, you know, it's, it's uh, not good to tear a page out of a book and... You know, would that would that be an issue to your audience? And it, you're going to see the performance to Matt in a minute. He didn't seem to think, find a problem with that at all. Uh, and, and to be honest, I, I think I completely agree, you know, that there was no issue, the fact that he was ripping a, uh, a page out of a dictionary. And one thing I did see on the Magic Cafe, which I think is a really good idea, is somebody who posted on there said that he's bought some one pound stickers if it's been reduced to a pound the book has been reduced to a pound in like a pound shop or something and he's going to stick that on the front cover he's not going to mention it but subliminally people will see that and go okay well the book's cheap so that's why you can why he's okay with ripping the page out but to be honest it's not really an issue so i'm, I'm performing uh, this routine to matt it's a multi-phase routine um the idea is that I'm going to be reading his mind, getting him to rip a page out of a book. Uh, there's a lot going on here. So let's have a look at the performance of Matt. And more importantly, let's have a look at what Matt thinks and listen to what Matt thinks about, um, about what he sees. Okay. 
Now, I borrowed this off, um, off, off Kay, you know, because she's all about dictionaries. Out of everyone in the office, she's the only one that would be about dictionaries, and I knew I could get one off her. Makes the sense. reason I wanted a dictionary for this is because literally every word in the English language is going to be in here, right? You know that every word is going to be in here. That's the basic concept behind a dictionary, right? Yeah. Now, um, here's what I want you to do. In a minute, you're going to open up to somewhere in the middle of the book. It's completely up to you where you open up. It's completely your choice. But when you do open up, what I want you to do is, and let me use an example, I want you to go to the left-hand page and look at the very top word on the left-hand page. So in this case, it'd be cleverness. Not the one at the very top, like abject. This one here, cl cleverness. Okay. Okay? And then we're going to give the book to Jack. And Jack, you're going to open up and you're going to look at a, uh, the left-hand page and you're going to look at the bottom word. The Ooh. bottom word of the left-hand page. So in this case, it would be Latin. You get the idea? Yep. So on this page, it'd be about for you and it'd be person for, uh, for, for Jack. Do you, get, do you get the idea? Yeah. Correct. So uh, let's try and do that. So if you open up the page, uh, don't let me see, obviously. Don't let them see. Um, but I want you to open up somewhere in the middle. Okay. Just one page. Looks like an actual like dictionary. Of course it is. Are you looking at the top left? <laughs> yeah. Have you got it? <laughs> yeah. And uh, can you can you point out to where Jack needs to look at the bottom, bottom page, bottom page, where are we into that? Yeah, have you got a word? Got it, yep. You got it, fantastic. Amazing stuff. So, nowhere I can know what you're thinking of, right? Because obviously you just went through to any page and you looked at any word, correct? Well, yeah. Okay, both of you concentrate, look at me, concentrate. Oh, I don't do that. Okay, this is interesting. This is something that you hold in your hand, isn't it? This is something you hold in your hand. You could hold it. It's not like yeah. a house or anything like no, that. No, no, you can. You have the yeah. potential to hold this in. Yours, you can hold yours in your hand as well. It's not like a really big object. No. What? In fact, for some reason, I'm getting the impression of metal. It's coming more from Jack. Jack, are you thinking metal? Yeah. You're thinking very specifically silver, aren't you? Yeah. But even though you're thinking silver, there's other metals that are associated with the thing that you're thinking of, but you're thinking mainly silver. That's right. Is this because you own something like this that's silver you could say that okay i'm getting this is weird you this isn't metal or anything like this but this is something you enjoy is that right is this something you 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 do or you've you 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 do something with this right it's something that you've done something with for a long time you enjoy doing something with this is that right does that make sense yeah ah i know what it is this is this is like some sort of food thing isn't it <laughs> Is this a food thing that you can hold it? It's not food. Ah, right, it's it's fruit. <laughs> right, and that's why you enjoy it so much. Match is a vegetarian, right? So obviously this is a fruit. This is something that you enjoy eating, right? Yeah. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Think about it. You could have gone through it. I mean, it, it was a completely free choice. Mango. Fuck off! Bracelet. What the Bracelet. fuck? Bracelet. Is that what you were thinking of? What the fuck? Okay. I don't get it. <laughs> we'll go. We'll go one step further. Let me just find mango on here. I've got it. Hang on. Just let me. Uh, I'm going to do something that if anybody's watching at home, you should never do this. What are you doing, Dick? I'm ripping. <laughs> let it not be said that I don't really, really, really take my my job seriously. Look. Do me a favour. We're going to go one step further. Can you... What was the matter? You okay? D like... <laughs> Kids, don't tear up your dictionary. Look, do me a favour. It's can not you... that. It's not how the fuck did he get the word. Can you, can you tear down the middle for me, please? Tear nice, down. nice and neatly. Nice and neatly? Yeah, like I did. Yeah. Okay. Now, right hold the pieces like this, and you can either put the left-hand piece on the right-hand piece or vice versa. So they're stacked. There we go. And turn them 90 degrees. And turn them as down the middle, as close to the middle as possible. Aye. Are we just glossing over the fact that he just gets two random words out of I'm a I'm not glossing over it. I'm still an awestruck. Now, uh, put the uh, pieces together. Yeah, that's it. Do you want to mix them up at that point? Just or shuffle them? Oh, you do. Okay. Um, cool. And put them together and try and get as close to the middle as possible and tear them down the middle again. Tear them again? Yeah. 
and, and put them there, put them together and put them here. So we've got a whole bunch of different, I mean, loads of different words on here, correct? Yeah. Lo loads, lo loads of different ones. Now, when you look at a dictionary, you can see that there's various different words that are bolded, that, and then, uh, which is kind of the word in question, and then underneath you have the description of what the word is, yeah? Yeah. What I want you to do in a second is you're going to uh, pick one of these pieces of paper up, but you're actually going to turn it over and you're going to look at it by turning it over because I've, I've seen some of the words on this side. So you're going to pick one of these pieces of paper up and you're going to turn it over, right? Mm -hmm. And then what you're going to do is you're going to think of one of those bolded words. Now, to make it interesting, if there's more than one bolded word, like here we've got manifesto and mannequin. Mm -hmm. If there's more than one bolded word, what I want you to do is pick the one that's got the most description under it because you might have ripped through you, you like you, it, you, yeah okay. you, you get the yeah. idea and and obviously make sure you turn it over because i have seen some of the words here and i don't really think that i'm cheating so i'm going to um spread them out like this and what i want you to do don't show the camera just keep it to yourself what i want you to do is pick one word turn it over and then tell me when you're looking at it i want i want you to tell everyone i am looking away is that right okay can you pick up can you do one of those are you thinking of one of those words in bold yeah yeah? Yeah. Now put it back there and pick them all back up and square them up and put them in my hand. This is weird. And I'm going to do this. Oh, I was putting them neat. <laughs> <laughs> the purpose for that is I can't see anything, right? Absolutely nothing. No. We picked a page. You picked a page. We ripped it out. Yeah. You tore it up. Yeah. You then mixed all the pieces, tore it up again, mixed all the pieces. Mm -hmm. and then I turned my back. You took one of those things, mm -hmm. one of those pieces of paper, you looked at a word. Yeah. No one could know that word. Well, you couldn't know the first two fucking words. <laughs> Look at me. Concentrate on the word. Imagine it's here. Think of the last letter. It's an N. Am I right? How? It's a big word. This is interesting. Did you read the description or did you just look at the word? Yeah, I read the description. This has got a couple of meanings, doesn't it? A couple of meanings. There's a couple of meanings to this word. A couple of meanings that you associate with it. Is this a place? Is this a place? Yes. It's a place you've been to. Yes. You've been to this place. Yeah. You want to go back. I'd love to. Think of a letter in the middle of the word. Interesting. You went back and forth, didn't you? <laughs> no, you looked up and to the left, you went back and forth. Did you go back and forth between the H and an A? Was that right? Did you settle on the A or the H? It was the A, wasn't it? H. It was the H. First letter? M. Imagine what this place makes you feel. Okay, interesting. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Think of a colour that you associated with this place. Oh, you... Wow, it just went straight into it. Yellow, right? Is that because of the taxi cab? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. You're thinking of a place in New York, aren't you? Uh, Are you thinking of Manhattan? What the fuck? Oh, my God. How, though? Like, how... <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> how? Well, tell me what you think of it. How are we going to explain to Kai there's a page missing from a book? Well, we just won't tell her. <laughs> How often are you going to need to look at Manhattan? Uh... How the fuck? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't, it's not, there's not even, an, I haven't even got a fucking inkling as to how you would do that. Like the first two? Never mind that. Do you think the third phase is the strongest phase? Do you think that, the, 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 you know, so I, I read your mind, read his mind, and then we ripped the page out of the book? Do you think See, that's we ripped the page out of the book, we tore the page up. You tore the page up? I tore the page up myself, shuffled the page, shuffled all the bits. Then we just laid them out, and there must have been nine or ten or whatever. Quite a few. And then I just randomly picked one, and you were turning around. You were turned around, and I picked one. But it was just, the, so it's like, it's not like the name, the word was duplicated or anything, is it? Because it was on, I looked at the fucking page. Yeah. 
It's a dictionary. So like, Every word's different. Right. Yeah, but it could have been like a fake dictionary or something. Anybody can know, we, we I looked at the page, real. so they're all the same. Oh, no. They're all yeah. different. I don't get that at all, dude. That's very, very good. You like it? I like it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's strong. Very, very, good. very strong. Because the, even the first bit, the picking the, the, the two words, the mango bracelet, which I think is funny. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so funny. Um, but even picking those first two words and finding those first two words, like I've no idea how you did that. And like you say, you know that I can force things on people, but I mean, yeah. how would you force something on You somebody? can't, like you literally screwed it up and threw it away. And I, and I didn't even show it the camera, like I was the only person that looked at that. I just picked it from there, looked at it, put it back. I purposefully put them on top of each other and shuffled them up and stuff and then I put it in you didn't even look at it you just screwed up and threw it away yeah. it's very clever isn't it <laughs> like however the fuck you do that it's very clever a guy called Christopher Rawlins so that is a fake dictionary huh I'm not, no I'm not saying it's a fake dictionary but he created the routine oh okay so he created the routine, you know, like you buy tricks and you can get a download and you can, you can, you, you got to get, like you need a pack of cards or you need a dictionary yeah, or you yeah, need yeah. something, you know, with this particular routine, you need a dictionary. Well, you don't need a dictionary, you need a book. You need something that you can rip a page out of and dictionaries are cheap. You can just have any book. Yeah. So you could literally use any book mm -hmm. and there's a way of just making that work. So mm -hmm. you know what we've, what mm -hmm. we've picked. Mm -hmm. It's fucking nuts, isn't it? That's mad. A clever guy. He is a clever guy. Too clever. Yeah. I hey. like that one. I like it. He likes it. So there you go. That's. I, I think that's fascinating, to be perfectly honest. I really do. I think that's really fascinating. Like, he was completely blown away. There were several times. Now, now Matt, although he loves magic, he's desperately always trying to figure out how tricks are done, right? And notice that even though it's a gaff dictionary, I left the dictionary in front of him. He never even went to pick it up. Now, if you've watched a video with Matt before, he's constantly trying to fiddle with props and tinker with props, and he's constantly trying to work out the method, right? Uh, and I left the dictionary in front of him, and he never even thought about the, picking the dictionary up. He was trying to work out how it's done, and he was trying to come up with a logical method, and you saw him a couple of times go, well, you know, there can't be anything wrong with the dictionary. I opened it, I saw it, blah, 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 blah. You know, I opened the page myself. I found that fascinating because I know that there's a couple of people that said, oh, the dictionary can't be examined. You know, if they pick it up, they're going to see how it works. That's the perfect example of somebody who constantly is trying to work out how tricks are done. And he was sitting there trying to figure it out. And, and the thought of picking up the dictionary and looking through it never even occurred to him. Never even occurred to him. So that kind of speaks volumes in a couple of ways to me. First of all, the quality that Christopher Rawlins has, has put together with, with the actual dictionary, it looks as real as you're gonna get, both from the outside and also from the inside. And also the cleverness of Christopher Rawlins when it comes to the actual routining behind the, behind the trick, because it's routined and constructed in such a way that the audience doesn't suspect, let alone detect that there's a trick book in play, even though you and I know that there are. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I could wax lyrical about this, this trick all week, and, and I would do it because I love it. You know, I've, I've, uh, I'm going to start doing it. I think it's really, really good. Um, however, I mean, you just heard from basically somebody who's a lay person. No idea. Absolutely loved it. And, and that's really the reaction we want from our audiences. We want people to feel that way about the magic and the mentalism that we do. Um, and what you have here is you have basically something that's completely self-working in terms of methodology, but also something that has... Um, and, and this is something that magic producers should learn from. Chris has taken the time and effort to have live performances. He's taken the time and effort to put together a really well-produced tutorial that really explains everything. And my virtual cap is off to him. I wish more people would do what he's done on this project. And I wish more people would actually follow the example that he's set. So yeah, there you go. I think that uh, that proves without a shadow of a doubt that the, uh, that the Definitive Project by Chris Rawlins is fantastic. You can get it directly from Chris or you can get it from all good magic dealers. It's in Murphy, so basically you can get it from anywhere. 
So there you go, guys. That's another map test in the bag. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you agree with me and Matt or do you disagree? Uh, you know, I've had so many positive comments about the map test on this channel. You guys are really digging this, which is great. So we're going to try and make it a weekly occurrence. Um, the only problem is when I'm filming with Matt, I have to take him away from his actual job. I have to go into a completely different part of the building. I have to beg my sales manager, hey, can you borrow Matt for it? Can I borrow Matt for a bit? I just want to take him and show him card tricks. And sometimes if it's a really busy day on the phones, it's not always possible. But I will try and do a map test with Matt every single week. Don't forget, you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. And uh, if you haven't already done so and you want to join the next please do so you can go to www.thenetrix uh, and uh, you know netrix.com there you go and you can get access uh, you know to the to all of the content on there and see what all the fuss is about uh, I'm going to be back again tomorrow with a whole bunch more videos so thank you once again for joining me my name's Craig from Magic TV mm -hmm.